Welcome back to another episode of Locks and Low Firearm Reviews. Today, guys, we're going over a quick tabletop review of the Palmetto State 8.5 inch 5.56 upper. So, palm, quick Palmetto State, thank you for sending this out. Um, really enjoyed shooting this because I have a 7.5. Uh, if you guys don't know, let's get this to focus. I have a 7.5 inch pistol, so I was kind of eager to put this against my, well, the 8.5 inch upper sent to Palm, sent me by Palmetto State Armory. So I was able to take it to the range, get some first shots on it. Uh, I might just drop it in this video because it's not very long, there's only a few shots. That hand stuff um, on that one, where'd you get that one from? This? Yeah. That's BCM. Oh, okay. It's BCM CAG. Okay. Nope. All right, guys. We're here with the Palmetto State 8.5 inch 5.56 upper. This is our first shot through this. I got the primary arms uh, Cyclops 1X Prism Scope. We're gonna put our first shots through this using some Winchester white box, and we're gonna zero this upper at 25 yards. Okay, so we had our first shots with the 8.5. We're gonna do a little bit more shooting with it. Um, so far, everything's worked fine. We had just a tiny issue because I did not lube the gun beforehand. That it kind of locked up, but I got lube in there. Worked fine again. As far as recoil impulse, there's a little more recoil. Felt recoil than the 11.5 and 10.5, but still, it's very manageable and it's not something that's very concerning to me. Uh, so far, it works fine. We're gonna put more shots through it. We're going to get back to seeing how well this 8.5 does. Uh, me at the range with this 8.5 inch 5.56 upper. So guys, we're going to go through the list real quick of what Palmetto State gives you with this upper. So, we're going to tip the butt. We got an A2 birdcage uh, flash suppressor. You got the holes at the top and the bottom is covered so you don't kick up dust and give away your position. All right, next you have, see if we get that. Uh, well, I don't know if you guys can read this, but it's a one in seven twist barrel. There you go, one in seven. It's also, uh, so you have a 8.5 inch, 4150 uh, vanadium nitrided barrel by Palmetto State Armory with a pistol length gas system and a seven inch free float M-lock rail. I believe I got all that in there. <laughs> uh, they also, this one comes with the PSA mil-spec charging handle and one of their mil-spec bolt carriers, uh, carpentine bolt carriers. 
See if we get this to focus. No? Almost. Almost. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. Nice and shiny. Should be, I just oiled it not too long ago. And it's a full auto profile bolt carrier, mil spec carpenter, 158 steel bolt, uh, shot peen, high pressure test kit, tested, magnetic particle inspected, gas key hardened to USGI specifications, uh, and all that good stuff. Chrome line and phosphate coated. And then it comes with their mil spec charging handle, if I didn't say so already. All right, so you got the dust cover, mil spec, and you got your mil spec Ford Assist here as well. So, all right, Lux, how was it shooting this? Well, shooting it was it was fine. It does have a little bit more kick uh, than, let's say, my 11.5 over here. But you know that's kind of given with a these short barrels. All that powder is not going to burn up in the barrel. But as far as that, the recoil is still at like a 5.56. Not very much. Very easy control, but you do feel a little bit sharper recoil uh, when firing this firearm versus like that 10.5 uh, brown nails right here.